Hello, my name is Hee Jin Yang from Incheon National University. Today, I will present my recent study in regard to spatial disparities in population aging. You may have noticed that local demographic decline has been a key issue in the field of urban and regional planning. However, there have been few attempts to measure regional differences in population aging. To fill this gap, this study aims to empirically visualize the spatial disparities of population aging taking Seoul metropolitan area as a case region. Populations are aging more and more around the world. The statistics that we have confirm this impression. The number of elderly people aged 65 years old and over is expected to double from 703 million in 2019 to 1.5 billion by 2050. This phenomenon is amplified by continual improvements in healthcare services, which have extended our life expectancy. However, the working age population between 15 and 64 years old is gradually declining in line with the declining fertility rate. We can better understand the magnitude of the situation by examining the old age dependency ratio. The old age dependence ratio is measured by dividing the elderly population by the working age population of 100 people. As you can see in the figure, this dependence ratio is projected to increase incrementally worldwide. The United Nations projects that the old age dependency ratio will increase globally from 11 in 2010 to 18 in 2030 and further up to 25 in 2050. Such a sharp increase in the old age dependence ratio can become an urgent social problem because it shifts the great financial burden of increasing social welfare expenditures for older generations onto the younger generations. As population aging takes place at a fast pace in Asia, South Korea is one of the top countries where the proportion of the elderly population is significantly high relative to the working age population. According to the UN's projections, the old age dependence ratio in South Korea is expected to reach 66 by 2050, while in the United States it will reach 36, in Sweden 41, China 44, and France 46. However, these differences occur not only among countries, but also within countries, as population aging tracks with spatial inequalities in social economic development. Differences in net migration between rural and urban areas further exacerbate the spatial disparities in population aging. For example, regions in which farming or fishing are majority economic activities tend to be able to accommodate a large number of elderly people but there's little influx to those places of individuals from younger generations. To visualize the changing patterns in spatial disparities of population aging over the past two decades, this study takes Seoul metropolitan area as a case region. The Seoul metropolitan area where the capital city Seoul is located, accounts for around 10% of the nation's total area, but more than half of the nation's population. I use the most fine-grained block-level demographic data. 
the Seoul metropolitan area holds 50,588 tracts, with each tract housing approximately 500 residents. For the empirical period examined between 2000 and 2018, the overall age dependence ratio significantly increased from 7.68 in 2000 to 16.88 in 2018. This figure shows the surge of the old age dependence ratio in rings drawn from Seoul to the outskirts of the rural areas. As you can see in the right picture, two decades later, the spread of the aging society emerged in most areas, excluding areas where new city developments were launched, such as Kimpo, Songdo, and Dongtan, to name a few. Also, the rate of the increase in the old age dependence ratio appeared greater in the outskirts of the Seoul metropolitan area, including the coastal areas. The next figure shows cartograms that help visualize the spatial information considering the size of the value of value itself, rather than the size of each area. As the population is largely concentrated in Seoul, the 2000 visualization reveals that the old age dependence ratio shows a low value, for example, 10 or less in most areas. In fact, the population in Seoul accounted for 9.85 million in 2000 and 9.67 million in 2018, which makes up around 40% of the total population in Seoul metropolitan area. Now, I would like to wrap up my presentation. Over the past several decades, the old age dependence ratio in Seoul metropolitan area has been growing at a brisk rate, especially in sparsely populated rural areas. This paper suggests that it is time for urban and regional planners to have more discussions around providing sustainable public services in areas experiencing a surge in the old age dependence ratio. Thank you.